Right now, scientists are sounding the alarm that a growing number of grocery store items are ultra-processed, and that leads to health concerns. Researchers say ultra-processed foods, the high in fats, starches, sugars, and additives, now make up 73% of the U.S. food supply, even though they are linked to health issues like diabetes, obesity, cancer, and depression. Scientists now say these foods should be regulated with tobacco-style warnings and advertising bans. Let's bring in Trish Cotter. She is the global lead for the food policy program at the public health organization Vital Strategies. Trish, explain to our viewers the difference between minimally processed, processed and ultra-processed foods as it relates to our health. Okay, so minimally processed foods are those foods that you would normally consider to be fresh foods, freely available, uh, that you um, can make in, make home-cooked meals with. Ultra-processed foods are, are products, not necessarily foods, that you can't make in your home kitchen. They're, they're things that are um, put, put, uh, use edible ingredients that are pulled apart, put back together using industrial processing. Um, the end result um, is they add to it a, a cocktail of additives, emulsifiers, colours, flavours, and the end result is something that's really hyperpalatable. Um, there's a, a texture that's attractive, and um, these products are, in the end, quite desirable and tasty. Um, they're, they're ready to eat, ready to heat, and unfortunately, they are taking up way too much of a component of our diet um, because they lead to um, some serious health consequences. Which types of foods uh, that our viewers have in their fridge and pantries right now would you recommend they reconsider due to the health risks? Look, a diet that's high in ultra-processed foods is an unhealthy diet. So the products that, that, that consumers should, really should be concerned about are those products that have got, um, that are wrapped in packaging, often, often plastic, that have more than five ingredients, um, and that many of those ingredients are, um, are, are words that, that aren't familiar. There are things like um, emulsifiers or even, even chemicals that are referred to as numbers because they don't have real, real names. Um, so the typical products might be um, crisps, um, uh, packaged um, foods that are ready to heat, like lasagnas, those sorts of things. Oh, gosh. Um, bread. Well, Trish, i got to yeah. say, you're breaking my heart because you're listing all the things I like, but I encourage folks to <laughs> look into your study and take these health risks quite seriously. Trish Cotter, thanks for your time yeah. today. My pleasure. Thank you.